Hello guys, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo se encuentran el día de ahora? Good evening. Good evening. I'm um, okay so far. New look. No, it's the same. <laughs> okay. What about the rest, Yulisa and Maximo? How are you today? Uh -huh. Good evening. Good evening. I feel better today. That's amazing. What about you, Maximo? Well, guys, today it's our last day. Uh, our agenda for today will be the next one. Just give me a second. First of all, we'll practice again already. But today, we will read, we will read the strange case of Dr. Jenkins and Mr. Hart. Okay. After that, we will prepare to finalize the final exam. If you are already done, as ready, you will help me to answer all the questions on that. And right now, it's time to start. It's time to begin. It. Ok, chicos, eh, son todas nuestras últimas clases, aprovechémoslas. Hemos terminado casi todas las lecciones, solo nos queda el final examen. Por lo tanto, podemos seguir practicando, al igual que ya, already. Muy bien, les pregunto, ¿quién de ustedes cuatro chicos le echó un ojo el día de ayer a este libro? Uh -huh. Anybody, no problem. No, teacher, I forgot I was working as an Uber in the morning. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. But today we'll start with the reading. Hoy vamos a leer the story of the dog. I need a volunteer, guys. Who can help me? I need a volunteer. Okay, Brandy. Can you read since? Just give me a second. Since Mr. to the Pablo. How you pronounce the first and is lovable? Lovable. 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 Uh -huh. oh, sorry, I, I wasn't sure this this song. Lovable. Mm -hmm. uh, so I pronounce okay. Lovable. Lovable. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I got it. Go ahead. Mr. Otterson, the lawyer, was a man of a rush continent that was never lighted by a smile, cold, scanty, and embarrassed in discourse. 
backward in sentiment and in sentiment land, land, dusty, dreary, and yet some somehow lovable. Yeah, many new words for me. Yes. This one is lean. Yeah. Lean. Yeah. And this is lean. Uh, it's like a with e lean. Lean. With e, e, lean. Oh, e, lean. Lean. Okay. Lean. Okay. Okay. Let's start, uh, Brandy. What is the first new word that you find here? Well, other song is uh, it's a last, last night. night. Uh -huh. Um, Rod, Rod is it like Rudo? Uh, something similar, but it could be Conte. like like cool, like malentendido. Really? Um, Rouge. Rouge. It's common. I'm going to give him in a while. Malencarado. O sea, Malencarado. Que, ¿hmm? Podría asociarse con eso, como cuando vos ves a alguien y tiene la cara así. Como, mm -hmm. como que algo le ha molestado. The next one is new for me. Countenance. Como que no se puede contener esa cara. Como oh. no puede controlar. Semblante duro. Mm -hmm. Ok. Son mal encarados. Mm -hmm. O sea, de eso que vos ves, es como, ya han visto el meme que dice... Mi cara cuando voy caminando en la noche sale alguien así. Me queda enojado cuando camino de noche. Okay. The same one. The throat countenance. Rugged yeah, like countenance. Go ahead, Brandy. Rugged and countenance. Yeah. Rugged countenance. Yeah, that's a new one for me too. Right. Ahora, let me ask it to you, Brandy. What do you understand in this part? It's about what? Uh, what is the meaning of lean? You don't remember. Inclinarse. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, in Spanish. ¿Qué entendiste tú de esta parte? Esa well, yes. Um, this man is a lawyer. Uh, and who practice um. Uh, who work uh for the law, try to help people but he is a rush and that's mean that it's like a, you sometimes you have to have a poker face but in, in this time it's like a, he he have to show this face for uh for the people and they have to be cold as you can see there and and never like by a smile so he can smile so it's how to be like a serious uh -huh. And that's uh, something that he had to project to the people that he is serious with this uh, kind of, um, how do you say, character? Character. But also character we can use, uh, for example, when the people act in a, in a movie. And let me, let me try to find how, how you say it. But continue, please. Brandy? I think um, that, that's the part that I understand. 
Okay, it's okay. I like it. Just give me a second. It's just, I don't, I don't know what the meaning dusty and really and yeah. It's charter. It's car, uh, carter. Character. 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 Okay. It's okay, Brandy. You did a great job. But all those stuff we use for what? Sorry? Okay. You did a great job. But all those uh, adjectives like rich continents, cool, Embarrass, discourse, all those adjectives are for what? But we use those adjectives for what? Like for describe adjectives. people? Mm -hmm. In these kind of cases, in this part of the reading, we use or we learn about the description of Mr. Eurosense. O sea, podemos resumirlo así, por ejemplo. O sea, tú lo hiciste muy bien. Ocupaste muy buenas palabras para expresarlo. Pero, keep it simple. Manténlo simple. Uh, this reading is about, ah, it's about describe, uh, the adjective to describe Mr. Eurosense. Simple as that. But you did a great job. Right now, let me know, Brandy, who will be our next participant. Me. <laughs> Julissa. Okay, Julissa. Julissa, okay. Can you help? Okay, Julissa. Are you okay for your mom? ¿Está bien esto o gustaría leer un poquito mejor? Ya que me comentó que está un poquito mal. No, está bien, no hay problema. Go ahead. Okay. At friendly meetings and when the wine was to his taste, something eminently human became from his eye. Something indeed which never found its way into his talk, but which spoke not only in these silent symbols of the after dinner face, but more often and lowly in the ads of his life. Thank you so much, Julissa. You have a great reading. I love your pronouns and also uh, your fluent. Right now, let me ask you, to, did you find your vocabulary there? Yes, uh, because of Okay. Because of okay, right. Beacon. 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 Okay. In this kind of cases, when we see something like Ocupemos una palabra antes para ver si it's a price alter. Human beacon. Okay. Another one. Mm, no, only, only, only this, yes. Yo sé que uno te me Ahora te digo que es una palizada. Okay, first of all, me puede decir acerca de, la, de qué es la lectura que acabamos de tener. Mm. 
it's like when when he was in a social situation i don't know if if right mm -hmm. just start to, to describe it a situation he is Okay. Some different because mm -hmm. um, I don't know. <laughs> Just go ahead, try it. You can do it. It's... Okay. It's like um, he, he tried to talk more and not only no, no está solo callado. <laughs> It's not just on silent. Yes, it is is a little more lonely that that he was in in her job, for example. Okay, parenthesis. Esta becana lo puedes ocupar como el gesto que haces con la mano o con la cabeza para hacerle que llegue, que, que se acerque. Uh, it says, uh, make a gesture with the hands, arm, or head to encourage someone to come near or follow. Es como el gesto que le hacemos. Como cuando vos ves. Uh, yeah. Yes, go ahead. En esa, en esa parte que, que estábamos buscando, become. Este dice que es como, es algo que, emin, como un brillo eminente que brillaba de sus ojos. Mm -hmm. Something eminent the human become from, así se puede como traducir, algo que become como que brillaba o venía de, 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 de sus ojos. En otras palabras, esta, este eminentemente verbo. brillaba en sus ojos. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And that has a little bit more sense. And I will let you know later. Why? Bueno, de todos modos, sé que no lo van a leer después, así que vamos a hacer un poquito de spoiler. Tiene sentido lo que dice Brandy, because esta historia trata de una persona que tiene múltiple personalidad, o tiene una doble personalidad. Esta personalidad hace esto. Este es la yeah, because, vez. but it's it's only this in this part say when when the wine was to his taste, como cuando el vino era agradable a su paladar. Entonces mm -hmm. ahí como que entra la segunda personalidad que se dice. Mm -hmm. Pero cuando decimos when the wine was uh, to his taste, also we can translate when you are dos que tres. Uh huh. When he was drunk. Almost drunk, not drunk. Okay. okay. Es como ese estado en el que tú sí estás consciente, pero estás mucho más alegre, más suelto, más risueño. Relax. Relax. Mm -hmm. En el caso de Mr. Utterson, era una persona, vulgarmente dicho, mala copa. ¿Por qué? Porque lo podía ver en sus ojos. Also, in her face. Ahora bien, ya comenzamos a escuchar una narrativa. ¿De qué? De una mirin. ¿Por qué podemos estar seguros que estamos hablando nosotros de una narrativa? Para comenzar, ocupemos contexto. Miren, ah, that's mean that uh, he was with someone else. Ok. <coughs> They were drink. That's mean like maybe it would be a social meeting. Something eminent conference I. That means that something really weird happened at that moment. Something indeed, which never funny. It was into his talk. Oh, that's mean that also. 
the conversation becomes a little bit weird too. But which spoke not only the sign in the silent symbol of the after dinner plates. That means that sí le estaba haciendo muecas con su cara. But more often and lowly at of the slide. O sea, que era más de lo acostumbrado en su vida normal. ¿Cuáles son los que podemos ver? Primero, at. Aparte de ver, meeting, why, talk. Esas serían las keywords que podemos saber nosotros. Ah, está narrando un uh -huh. suceso. Did you got it? Ok, vamos a ponerlo yes, prueba. I got it. Muy bien, Julissa, vamos a ponerlo prueba. I need another volunteer right now, guys. Yeah, no, sí. <laughs> Jancy, can you help us, please? Mm -hmm. yes. Go ahead. Okay. He was austere with himself, dark keen when he was alone, to mortify a taste, a taste for vintage, and so he enjoyed the theater. Had not crossed the door for of one for twenty years. Hmm. Okay. Did you find new vocabulary, Jancy? Aster. It's something like wise. Es como astuto, pero en español sería como austero. Ni en español sé qué es eso, Tiche. Bueno, alguien austero es este, Jancy. Es esa persona que tú miras que no le importa uno decir las cosas como las dice, pero las dice siempre de una forma popular. Aparte de eso, de que es muy, muy inteligente. No sé si me acuerdo captando la idea. Uh -huh. So, bueno, okay. it's austere, right? Austere. Okay. Remember when we got a doubt, how do I pronounce someone on translation? How do you? Austere. The austere means means a person that we'll see in Espanol. Sencillo, sin lujos, ni adornos, rígido y exacto en cumplir las la, cumplimiento de las normas. Ni yo sabía que significaba eso también, Jens. Austero. Even, yeah. Es alguien sencillo, sin lujos, ni adornos, ni rígido, ni, ni exacto en el cumplimiento de las normas. Relajado, digo. Mm, en cierta parte. Es como es... alguien tacaño, pero más fancy. Ah. Dicho más fancy. Se podría decir que está aquí como un parecido al estoicismo. Hacer alguien estoico. Muy parecido. Más sin embargo, son muy diferentes a la misma vez. Pero lleva casi la misma ideología. Ajá, es que también dice estricto en el cumplimiento de las normas morales. Uh -huh. O sea, es alguien que si a él no le parece te lo va a decir, pero no te lo va a decir de una forma vulgar, te lo va a decir de una forma pues bastante polite y astuta. Ahora bien, también lleva conlleva muchas otras cosas como las que mencionaron Yancy, perdón, Julissa y Brent. Ahora bien, what's the meaning of this? Asset Gien Badis Jin. And he said, Ginebra. This is licor. Mm -hmm. 
in this one. So le escuchado en moda. Vintage, yeah. But what do you mean? What Antiguo. Is... Yes, that's that's the name. Okay, when we say old, it's something that it's old but not so so beautiful. Old fashioned. Uh -huh. Okay. Theater is theater. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I, I would, I would yes. like to pay attention. I would like you guys to pay attention. Have not crossed the doors of one or twenty years. What's the meaning of this? Yo lo entiendo como que no se pasó de la raya, no cruzó la raya. No. Mm -hmm. What about the rest? Yeah, I think it's almost the same. It's... Yeah, it's, he never crossed the line. He never tried to trespass your um in your life. I don't know, something like that. Perfect. Okay. If I ask it to you about all of this, tomando en cuenta todo esto, chicos, es lo que ya les dije. ¿Qué pensarían sobre esto? Están bastante cerca. La idea que tiene está correcta. Quizás Pero, que no ha probado nuevas cosas. Bueno. Le fuiste un no. poquito lejos de así. Para... <risa> que, como que no ha cruzado está su bien. barrera, entiendo yo. Sí, pero no es él. O sea, recordemos. No que... deja que nadie entre. Sí, no, no es, tiene que ver con lo que habían dicho, que él no había cruzado su límite, pero no es él. Es la, la otra identidad que él tiene. Mm -hmm. Porque... Cuando, sí. él, cuando él toma. Mm -hmm. Porque, Porque puede... él en su vida normal es bastante austero. Y él, mm -hmm. para mortificar el hecho de que le gusta mucho el vino y que eso hace que tenga su doble personalidad, mejor toma ginebra o cosas así más... Fuertes. ¿no? Fuertes, exacto. Ahora bien, Yulisa, tú tienes una muy buena idea de lo que está pasando. Más sin embargo, no es esa la razón por la que él toma. Y ese va a ser un plot twist y se lo seguís leyendo. Porque él sí toma por una específica razón. But, eh, eh, sin embargo, aquí lo hacemos así. Pero podemos estar seguros de que es algo diferente tomando atención en estas cosas. Siempre que leamos, chicos, procuremos recordar siempre esas piecitas, todas esas keywords que nos van a ir ayudando a resolver la lectura o a entenderla o a comprenderla mejor. ¿Se recuerdan ayer que leíamos eh, El Mago de Oz? Como las piezas del párrafo anterior no le iban ayudando a entender qué era lo que iba pasando? Muy bien, es de la misma forma. Ahora bien, ya llegamos aquí. I will need another volunteer. Who can help me reading this? Hi Meg, can you help me please? Hi, good evening. Good yes. Evening. Go ahead. But he had but he had an um, approved tolerance for others, sometimes wondering almost with a with envy at the highest pressure of spirits involved in their misdeeds. And in any ex 
extremity inclined to help rather than to prove. I inclined to Keynes Hersis. He used to say quantly. I let my brother go to the devil in his own way. Thank you so much. How to pronounce okay. this? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce Envy. this word. Envy. Or Envy. Envy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, did you find new vocabulary, Jaime? Yes, a lot of new words. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Let me know the first one. The first one was Envy. Envy mm. um, is the... Okay, mistakes. It will be a okay. extremity. We will start with envy. Envy is the opposite of when you got a uh, when when you feel feel proud of someone. It's the yeah. opposite of proud. Misdeeds is the opposite of problem. Okay, envy is that misdeeds is the opposite of problem. Okay, let me verify. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's miss this. Mm. Okay. Okay. What what else? Yes, the next one would be her heresy. It said I inclined to Keynes, here, see. Okay. Uh, let me verify. I don't know, but Keynes. I heard you. Yes, that word is. Even in Spanish, it's a little <laughs> rare to hear. <laughs> and the uh, pronounce is? Heresy. Heresy. <laughs> okay, and the other one was no, yes, only those words. Okay, and what yes. do you understand in this one? I have proteins. It's about what? I think like this, like the the paragraph is. We focus uh, on this part first of all. Yes, but it, it is expressed like in a artistic way because hmm. because he said, but he had an approved tolerance for others, sometimes wandering almost with envy at the high pressure of spirits involved in their misdeeds. If you can notice in real life people don't usually speak like that i think it's like like a poem or something it is something poetic the way that yes. the, the writer wrote those words because of the high pressure of the spirit involved in their miss 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 it miss it yes okay but the main idea of those words that sounds so poetic is describe part of the identity about this character. Yes. Why? Why? Because the writer told you that his tolerance sometimes, sometimes he has a little envy. And as every human being makes misdeeds. Okay. Hasta ahí podemos decir de que si hablamos about the personality about Mr. Yours. But what about this part? It's a, 
and in any extremity inclined to help rather than to prove. I incline to King's heresy. He used to say pointly, I let my brother go to the devil in his own way. <laughs> I just can't understand the last part when when it says this is Cain, 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 the angel Caído, yes. No. Cain is the brother the name of Abel's brother. Abel. Abel's brother. It's Abel's brother. But in this kind of cases, Cain is other person in the family. Yo sé, guys, esta lectura es bastante completa y compleja. Van a encontrar muchas, muchas palabras nuevas. Muchas. Pero les puedo asegurar que según vayan anotando las palabras nuevas y vayan pues, descifrando de qué trata la lectura, van a disfrutar este libro. Porque hasta ahorita solo hemos visto descripción de Mr. Yurso. Y eso que ni siquiera hemos pasado the story of the door. Porque es cierto, esta door que habla aquí está esta door es simbólica pero esta no lo es. It will happen something. Ok. I will need another volunteer to finalize to read this part. You can choose one teacher, nobody will say me. You may say you. Ah, okay, Jancy, yes, go ahead, <laughs> please. Oh, you can repeat. Oh, you didn't say nothing, okay. Ahora va a leer Andrea, no Jancy. Hey. <laughs> it wasn't me, it was Patricia. <laughs> okay. This character, it was frequently his fortune, fortune to be the last reputable acquaintance. <laughs> acquaintance and the last good influence in the lives of downgoing men and to such as this so long as they came about the ch cumbers he never made a shade of change in his demeanor <laughs> I don't know demeanor demeanor and this is Chamber and the other one. Chamber. Is chamber. Chamber. Okay. Or tune. Chamber. Chamber. Okay. I know you got many, many new vocabulary, but the star guy, the star Andrea. Andrea, <laughs> what is the new vocabulary for you, Andrea? Okay. The first one is acquaintance, can I can't pronounce it. This one. Acquaintance. Uh -huh. Okay, me neither. But, fortunately. Acquaintance. 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 Mm-hmm. But let me try to find something. Mm -hmm. It's something different. Okay. And the other one? Um, maybe a uh, phrase about downgoing. 
¿O no? No, no es una paisada. Don't go. Uh -huh. No, es una paisada, ¿verdad? It's down like going. going down. Down going. <laughs> okay, and the next one? D minor. It is like... Maybe shade and chamber. <laughs> okay, shade is... Uh, it's related with shadow. But it's not necessarily the shadow. Es como el degradado. Eh, he fijado que algunas veces hay unos cortes de cabello para hombres que se miran como degradados, degradado, así que se mira como más claro, hasta más oscuro. It's fade. Mm -hmm. It's something related with that, with shape. Okay. Uh, chambers, no sé si ya me lo había dicho. Chamber. Ah, it's like um, a place you can stay for sleep in another place. It's not your home. Maybe. Chambers, it could be like a room. Okay. Thank you so much. And the minor. Isn't that behavior? Muy bien, guys. Te preguntaría, Andrea. O sea, le preguntaría a Jan. <laughs> ¿Qué entendiste de la lectura? ¿O qué entendieron ustedes de la lectura? Pero, no me quiero arriesgar a tener poco tiempo, guys, para el final test. Así es que vamos a poner en pausa de lectura y como la mayoría de ustedes ya lo resolvió me van a ayudar a resolver I will need a volunteer to read the instructions Maximo, can you help us please? No Ok, Yulisa, can Good you help evening. us? Good evening, Maximo Can you help us please? Okay, instructions. Listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Okay. Oh. Second, guys. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Ugh, Frank. I really need to get in shape but I'm having trouble deciding what's the best plan for me. Well, what about going to the community swimming pool, Sandy? It's a nice pool and just down the street from your place. Actually, I've tried that already and it didn't work for me. I was too tired to swim after working all day. Then why don't you join that new fitness center near your office? You could go during your lunch hour. I don't know. I've joined gyms before, and I always stop going for one reason or another. They're a waste of money if you're a member but never go. Well, then, I think you've got a predicament. Two. Hey, Sandy, what about getting a personal trainer? Hmm, I never thought of that before. A trainer can help you in two ways. You know, help you get in better shape and keep you motivated. Well, do you know where I can find one? You can probably find ads for trainers on the web. Sure, but I'd rather get a recommendation. You know, from someone who's had one. Oh, I just remembered. My cousin Rachel had a trainer and she really thought he was great. I remember. Then she ran in the Boston Marathon. Amazing. I'll get her number from you then. Three. Hey, Pam, did you see those photos that were sent from the two rovers on Mars? Yes. Isn't it exciting? I love space exploration. Me too. But a lot of it happened before I was born, back in 1985. 
How long have we been exploring space? Well, the so-called space race really began during the early 1960s, when I was a kid. And ever since, I've really been fascinated by space travel and exploration. Yeah, but I think space travel is finished for now, don't you? Oh, no, Jerry. The future holds a lot of possibilities for space research and travel, and who knows? Four. Well, Pam, do you think by 2050 we will have set up human communities on Mars? Probably not. But perhaps by then people will have bought land on the moon and started building homes on it. No, really? Yes. And those little rovers will be continuing to perform their research on Mars and other planets, too. Scientists will be able to use even bigger robots to do almost anything, like building cities in space. I guess you're right. Just think of our International Space Station. Yes, I think that robots and astronauts will be performing amazing things in the future. Okay, guys, the first one. Sandy wants to make new people. Friends with Jess? Join in a new fitness center. Thank you. Number two, Sandy can get a recommendation for his personal training. From Frank's calculation. Is there a thing that space travel? Is finished for now. Found things. People will build homes on the moon. Perfect. Yeah. And guys. Okay. You will be in the next one. Correct the mistake. Instructions. Can you help me with the reading, Vanessa? Okay. Señorita Jamie Lopez, can you help me with the reading, please? What? Vanessa, ¿puede leer esto? Sí, permítame. Eh, instruction. Correct, correct the mistake in each sentence or question. You, you need to type in the complete new sentence. Do not forget cap capital in periods for question marks. The first one. Do you know where can I get some somewhere to put my hair? Do you know where? I can get. So I want to cut my hair. Thank you. Second one. You can have your car fixed at auto repair shop. Can have you can have your car fix fix I don't know auto reparation with the E D right yeah that's right fixed next one do you know where Elisa can have her driver's license renewed? The same, but renew in participle. Yes. Renew it. You can get your leather boots chimes at Joe's Chop Chop. Same. But chimes is chime. 
ID 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 okay Chinese ID S N R D yep Part two instruction choose the correct three word phrase verb Thank you for coming out with a great solution to my problem. Sam had to a science tutor. He couldn't get up keep with it up. Keep up with keep, keep it up. Keep it up with uh, the other students in chemistry class. It just has put the cut down sugar and fat. She lost over 15 pounds. Perfect girls and guys. I Next. couldn't hear any guy. <laughs> no? I couldn't hear any guy. <laughs> oh, so just me? Okay, but come on. Complete the suggestion for a possible solution. Paige, <laughs> this smartphone is dead and she can't figure out how to get it to work again. You only need to tie the cord form of the bear, giving them brackets, infinity or gerunds. It might be a good idea. Not only men. Hmm? To check Not out. only men have to answer. Excuse no? me. No. No, I say uh, now is a turn to the man. Ah. Okay, guys. Maximo, what will, what will be the answer here? Infinity. To check to check out. Check it out. To check out to. Ah, I think. We check out. Okay. Next one. Jaime, can you help me, please? One thing she could do is. I am sorry, which section is up? It, it should be to try to, to try. To try? Right. Yes. What about it's a cell phone with a workshop? Bring it. Bring it. Part two, complete the sentence with a go doing four from in over sign or two. Just type the type the word go. no capital letters or periods are needed. Vincent mm -hmm. God died in 1890, more than 100 years. Mm -hmm. And go. Thank you. Cool. This book was popular for oh. form of music. Mm -hmm. from, from, from 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 1978 19, to 1980. 80. A was a popular type of exercise. In in the yeah. people have been using home computers since since instruction complete the prediction with will the future continue or the future perfect just tie the pair in its current sentence do not tie the entire sentence. Okay, first one. Sophisticated robots will replace tablet computers 
will be used. Used, used, used. Uh, used. No, used, used is past uh, with D at the U end. Used, used. You? I have problem in this part, teacher, because I'm really sure there is one need. But I text and I send a picture and nobody helped me. I am still. Okay, this your big mistake, Brandy. Is nope. This... Nope. Are you sure? I have the same problem. With... I'm pretty oh, sure. Right. Maximo oh. and somebody else have the same problem. It's like oh. a four people that would have the same problem. Okay. Yes, teacher. We will discover what's the real problem in a few minutes. Okay. Later... I, agree. I agree with Brandy. Thank you, Maximo. Later in this century, people. The number we we you one then which is the number four mm -hmm. ah is it one believe like and also it shows like. as wrong right well do you have the same mistake in the number four yes I have, the same. Same. I have the same mistake and the number three and the number four. And number three is it won't need, and the second it won't believe. Like we uh, then. Okay. And the last one. But you didn't text nothing. You didn't type nothing. We'll have discovered. Yeah, I got it. It's okay, but is the platform of the hard problem? I we will do the next one. I will send it to through WhatsApp. This the character I think is wrong there. Yes, the apostrophe. It is like other type of. No, but copy, copy, copy it through and send to through WhatsApp, please, and I will try to page right now. Okay. Next one and the last one, guys. It's almost time to say goodbye, but don't worry. It's supposed to have a reading, but I know that you already answered this. First one, the blaster has a photo keyboard for easy typing. True. True. The blaster won't be able to do things like instant messaging. False. False. The solar feed must be plugged into an electrical socket. False. False. The solar feed can keep your MP3 batteries recharged in the wireless. True. True. The A screen is just a fancy pair of sunglasses. False. False. You can watch your favorite videos while wearing the ice cream. True. Okay, guys, congratulations. You are already right done and finalized this model. Ahora, para finalizar, guys, les voy a enviar esas dos respuestas para que puedan completar ustedes Number su three. plataforma. Oh, ¿Les parece bien? Yes. Yes. Okay, just give me a second, guys. Just a second. Okay, it's number four and three. And three. Three is our boy. It's there. Okay, guys, this time is over. It was more than a pleasure to share with you these four weeks. And thanks a little bit, Clyde.
when we practice a lot. Fue todo un gusto, guys. Espero haberles podido ayudar en todo lo que se pudiera y que en el próximo pues, módulo que tengan, todo les salga bien y puedan aprender algo más. Es un placer. Sí, Gracias. Sí, ya. Thank sí, you. Ya. Bye bye. 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 Nice to meet you.